Well, I guess commitment to our health and safety is, is basically trying to create a safe workplace environment. And I think that's really all we can do is trying to assess what our potential hazards and eliminating them. And, and that's not that easy because humans make mistakes. Yeah, well, that's right. Yeah, I get that's right. Yeah, that's true. We do have, um, yeah, we have every couple of months. I know a, a guy that we use for advice says we should have a monthly meeting where whatever's happened uh, is documented, recorded and looked at. So we generally do get lots of, uh, it's a bit impromptu, I suppose, but we talk to our guys and get feedback on the things that they think may need doing. Um, I suppose there's, there's, a, there's a few things that we identified hazards and really it came from the workplace service guy just going for a walk around the property and just saying, look, you should do that, you should do that. So we really had an audit and I was probably pretty nervous about what he might see but saw very little and, and just said, and we did those things, just simple things, which was one was in our shearing shed, we have a, a, a clear... Um, oh, whatever you call it, fibre, sorry, skylight, yes, mean? like a skylight, we had a skylight mm -hmm. and with no mesh underneath it, now, very, somebody walk on the roof, knock a few nails in or whatever they might do, bang, fall through, so we did did that, and and just probably electrical stuff is a major issue, and, and you know, just making sure that people know that if that switch is off, it's tagged and you do not turn it on, or just simple things like that, that's a bigger issue in our point. Angle grinders, no, no question in regards to uh, using bench grinders, angle grinders, just throwing away blades. Just a lot of simple things, but ended up could be major Yeah, things. look, I think maintaining workplace safety, and there's no question, I think um, farmers are very nervous about an audit, and they feel that, you know, I think, I think oh, we might be shut down, but I honestly uh, wouldn't mind um, being audited, honestly, to, for somebody to come through and just say, look, that's not right, that's not right, you need to do that, because we need to do it, bottom line. If we're not going to do them, we need somebody to tell us to do it. So we're probably, in that regard, you know, this is probably five, six, seven years ago, I think we had an audit, and we did what we were supposed to, but there would definitely be things that aren't right now. So, you know, to, to maintain those things is probably something that, Especially farmers are probably not right. good. So we keep when an induction, when a new employee starts, we have an induction process which is gone through with the supervisor, and then it is signed off and it's kept in their records. And there's also a copy of the instructions out here in the um, shed uh, for incident reports. We have um, an incident report, so they have to fill it out where it happened, why it happened, um, who was there at the same time. That's then. For um, also put into the office, into their files, if anything's needed. Um, if, if a doctor's required, of course, um, that's all kept as well and that's supported. Um, standard, operating, oh, stand, standard operating procedures we have for nearly every machine, even from an egg washer, and what um, chemicals that may be used, um, gloves that are needed, glasses that are needed, they're all written by the machine, they're supplied, so um, hopefully eliminating any problems there.